Welcome geometry students to another Khan Academy tutorial. We're doing solve similar triangles, the advanced one this time. So if you haven't seen the basic one, maybe check out the basic one until you got it. Don't watch the whole thing if you don't have to. And then we're gonna jump to the advanced one. So let's go ahead and start. We have solve for X and that's all they give us. So some other clues they have is they say that these are both 90 degree uh, angles there, okay? And we also have that if you were to trace the big one, okay, so we have this big triangle here, and I'm gonna draw it off to the side. Sometimes that helps when you redraw these shapes so you can see them separate, okay? And then I'm gonna draw this smaller one, okay, it's purple, okay? I'm gonna make it smaller here also. Okay, so then we have our smaller one, and they both have 90 degree angles. Okay. We also know that these angles are the same, okay? Reflexive property, we have those angles are the same. So they have two angles the same. Um, and then because of these 90 degree angles, these angles are also gonna be the same. There's a, there's a theorem that states if they have two angles the same, then that means based on the third angle theorem that all three angles need to be the same, okay? So if you have two angles in a triangle that are the same, that means the third one's also gonna be the same. So that means they're similar. If they have all the angles the same, then they are similar. Okay, so quick background information. Now let's get into labeling. So we know with the small one, small, I like to label it, we have one and two for our side lengths. Okay, now for the big one, this one's the big one, we have not two. Now this is where you have to like look at it and, and, and try to visualize it appropriately. We have two plus one, that gives me three. So that whole bottom side is three and then we have this side is X. Based on only this information now, we can make a proportion, okay? Well, we, what are we gonna compare? Well, we are gonna compare, we can call this the height, so we'll call this side the height. Oh, I'm using the wrong device, here we go. We can call this the height, much better. We can call this the base, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare the height to the base for both triangles. So on the left, we'll put the small triangle, and on the right, we'll put the big triangle, okay? This looks complicated right now, but just notice how I set it up. So let's start with the small triangle. What's our height? Our height is one. What's our base? It's two, okay? So see what I did here? This is the small triangle, okay? And I compared the height on top to the base on the bottom, okay? So if I do the height over the base for the small triangle, I also have to do the same thing for the big triangle. Now, my height for the big triangle is x. What's my base? My base is three. So I put that over three. It's set up now, okay? Here's my big triangle, x over three, height to the base. Here's my small triangle, height over base, one to two, and now I'm ready to solve. How do I solve? Well, I cross multiply. So I do two times x equals three times one. That's two x equals three. Divided by two, divided by two, x equals three over two, or x equals 1.5, okay? So we know that's equal to 1.5, and there's our answer, 1.5, bingo. Next, next question. Same deal, okay? Uh, we're trying to identify big triangle, small triangle. This one's gonna be a little bit more complicated, but stay with me here. So we have the big triangle here, okay? And these are all gonna be similar, okay? Because it says similar in the instructions. Okay, I just wanna show how, in the first problem I showed how you can identify they're similar. Then let's go green here for the small triangle. So small triangle, green. S for small, B for big, okay? And then we know some dimensions of the, oops, don't want that. We know this is 10, we know this is six. We know both dimensions for the small triangle, that's great. For the large triangle, the big triangle, we have the height is 10, aha, uh -huh, look at the base. A little bit more complicated this time. This time, this whole distance is 10 plus x. So we're gonna write 10 plus x here. And now we can set up our ratio. What is our ratio? We're gonna compare the big to the small. It doesn't matter which side you put it, as long as you're comparing the same thing. And then we're gonna put the height on the top, just like we did last time, and the base on the bottom. Okay, for the big, the height is 10. This time we knew the height. The base is 10 plus x. Okay, a little bit complicated, but not too bad. Then we have the height, there's my warning bell, almost time up, stay with me here. So we have height for six, our base is 10, 
and now we are set up, okay? This belongs to the big triangle, this belongs to the uh, small triangle. We're comparing both the height over the base for both of them. You have to make sure you stay consistent with that. But now we can cross multiply. We get 10 times 10, we get 100 there. Then we have six times 10 plus X. Don't freak out, it's just distributed property here. So we distribute, you get 100 equals 60 plus six X. We're gonna subtract 60 from both sides because we're gonna solve for X. 40 equals six X. We divide 40 divided by six equals X. Sorry, I ran out of room. I can divide both by two. We get 20 over three equals X. And I might be able to just type that in as a fraction here, 20 divided by three, and let's check it. All right, I think we're getting the hang of this. This one is very similar, so we might even end on this one just to keep this video short. Okay, one last time. Here's our big green triangle this time. So we have our big uh, triangle. Uh, we have, I like redrawing it, 11 and then X plus nine. Small triangle, let's go purple. Ooh, this time we got, we have an X in our small triangle too. So here's our small triangle this time, and we have three and X. Let's set up our proportions. Big to small. Height over base. Now you can go base over height as long as you're consistent with both the big and the small, okay? Just wanted to give you a heads up on that. So height for the big is 11 over the base, which is X plus nine. Then we're gonna set this equal to our height for the small guy, that's three, and our base for the small guy, and that's x. We're gonna cross multiply and let's proceed. We get x plus nine times three equals 11x. Okay, 11 times x, 11x. We're gonna distribute on this side, okay? Now we have three x plus 27 equals 11x. I want to combine the x's first, so I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. I get 27 equals, uh, what is that, 8x? Yeah. And now I do 27 divided by 8 equals x, and that's as far as I can get. I can't reduce any further. They don't have any common factors. So I'm just going to type in 27 over 8. You're probably thinking, whoa, that's a weird answer. It kind of is. That's why I guess they call it advanced. Next question. We might, we'll finish it. So let's go ahead and finish this whole Khan Academy out. We got big, we got small. I'm just gonna go fast here. I'm gonna go height for small over base for small equals uh, purple. Height for big over base for big, nine plus six is 15. Now this one's actually easier. So then we're gonna cross multiply. We get 15X equals 45. Ooh, this one's gonna be a good answer. We divide by 15, we get X equals three. So X equals three for this, that's gonna be our base, and that's our final answer. And there we go. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you next time on West Explains Best.